What's good, Watch Gate Squad? Welcome back to another video with the one and only Watch Gate Style. Shout out to all my young gifted kings and queens, and cue the intro. Today's video, we're going to be talking about why you should sometimes take a break from social media to get back on track with yourself and be more in tune with yourself. Let's get into it. The reason why you should take a break from social media every so often is because being on social media is toxic. And I say it's toxic because if you scroll, the comment is always and always up one end and you're watching video upon the video and you're just liking it, like after post after post, what are you gaining from that, you know? Like, what are you really gaining from that? And what I want to stress to you the most is that a break from social media and to turn off the notifications it's like a next level piece that you will never understand until you actually have done it. And I say it's a next level piece because turning your notifications is a power that many, many people do not have. The ability to turn off your notifications and the ability to go put your phone on for like at least an hour, some people can't do, you know. Some people have become so en entrapped in social media and their social media presence that they won't allow themselves to even, even you should see, you should see when someone loses their phone, what do they do? Go all frantic, you know, frantic. And it's 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 really funny to me because like, what, how how are you how are you that scared of losing a piece of a piece of metal that has some software in it when you you've been without it for like the most most of your life? Like I'm pretty sure you didn't have it when you was ten. I'm pretty sure when, when you, there, there had to be some sort of life. Some, some time period in your life where you did not have social media or a phone in general. And I'm pretty sure that life, that version of you was very, was was probably peace, more at peace with themselves than the one that you are now. Not, 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 not to cast any blame, but I'm just being real, you know, being honest. And another reason why I feel it's important to take a break from social media is because being on social media and the social media presence that, that so much people are, uh, have been, again, trapped in, to believe the hype of oh if i blow up on social media then i'll be happy is that people attach a various amount of things to it they attach happiness they attach loyalty they attach friendship they attach love that's where the, that's where that's where long distance relationships came from that's where online friends came from and that's also where cyber bullying came from social media again the media was not was not created until i think early 2000s so i'm pretty sure life before that was like much more grand, you know, much more wholesome than it is now. And that's another thing, it's a lot more wholesome because social media has, has made us a lot less social. And that's, that's funny because it's social media, you would think it's social media, the, the, the word social media is supposed to make you more social. But what it's actually done is actually done, the contradicted himself and made us less social. You go, you go to a family function, what are you doing? What do you see? Oh, people, people's hair down on their phone. You know what I'm saying? People, people not even, people, you could even see people texting them, people texting people right next to them. That's how anti-social we have become. And it's really sad because as a young person myself, 19 years old, fresh out of high school, I've seen in first hand what social media could do to people and what's, how social media could change people. That's another thing, cancel culture. What, what, where did it come from, you know? And what, 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 why, why is it, made possible for someone to be canceled you know because yes some what well, yes people say can sometimes be say bad or horrendous or you know what i'm saying can really be can really be a not good experience that's to keep it about and i feel like they they shouldn't some some people so many people that have been canceled didn't really deserve it because i feel like they people were just caught up in the moment and they were just following the crowd because I feel like on social media, especially on social media, these people, are, a lot of people are followers and on are, are afraid to be different and are afraid to voice their opinions because again, afraid of culture, cancel culture. And it's a sad thing because that's not the reason why authenticity is a dying art because people are afraid to voice their opinions. People are afraid to voice how, what they feel and how they feel. So people, that, what's that, what, that, what that's gonna lead to is people being more closed off, being more standoff which, when asked to express their feelings. Another reason why, and another reason why you should take a, a break off of social media is because to better yourself, you know, to really, really 
really capture that best version of yourself meaning that read a book you know read a read a self-improvement book once i'm out that that's really going to alter your mind for the better and what you also what you also to do is you also um start doing some physical rec recreation whether it's the gym whether it's yoga whether it's going for a walk you know start being in the moment that's another thing that social media has also taken away from a lot of people is the ability to live in the moment because a lot of people these days aren't able to do that because what they do is is that eat say see see look this is this is me i'm i'm her sitting on a bench in the park right looking at the water right what are, what most people are, my age would be doing right now is taking out the phone recording and sending it on snapchat or on instagram story but what am i doing i'm recording a video because i, I want to inspire you guys you know I want to inspire and motivate you guys to be better versions of yourself. I want to inspire you guys to be better versions of yourself and to actually tap into yourself, you know? And stop worrying about other people. That's another thing. And social media and the introduction of it has allowed you guys to be worried about what other people think. Like, when when did it become popular to care what other people think? You feel me? Positive or negative. When did it become possible for some people, some people to be affected so broadly by what people think? without the presence of social media. That's another thing that being off of social media will do to you. And so it will make you a more nonchalant and non carish thinker when it comes to criticism, and it comes to doubt, and it comes to hate you are given, you know? And stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check you in the next video.